today I'm in Frisco, Texas, one of the most popular suburbs in the DFW Metroplex. And in this video, we're going to discuss everything there is to know about living in this very popular Collin County city. We're also going to discuss the pros and cons. There is so much to love and like in regards to residing right here in Frisco. However, over the last several years, it has changed in numerous ways. So we're definitely going to tackle the cons. It is a beautiful day right here in Frisco, Texas. The sun is blaring. As you can see, there are dozens of kids tossing around the football right here at the start. So we're going to have a heck of a good day, so stay tuned. Guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, and we have offices throughout the state of Texas. What an incredible, glorious day. I'm tempted to walk on this field. However, I am wearing my dress shoes. So I might slip and slide, or I would show these young guys that Coach Soto still has that flamethrower. However, we got work to do. So let's get back into the video and discuss Frisco, Texas, which is going to have a population of around 226,000 people and is the 14th largest city right here in the state of Texas. More importantly, it is definitely one of the most popular suburbs, one of the most popular cities to reside in, especially if you have kids and a family. I mean, as you can obviously tell, just right behind me on this football field, this city is known for education, for families, for being safe and secure. However, I don't want to spoil it all on one spill. So let's get into the pros, starting with the number one pro, and that is going to be that it's extremely family friendly. Okay, let's start with the first pro. And guys, it's lunchtime. I haven't eaten all day. And of course, Miko Cena is right behind me, calling my name. The patios are packed. The margaritas are flowing. However, <laughs> We have to get some additional takes before we can enjoy some lunch. So let's start with family friendly. And the main thing that I love about Frisco, Texas is that it's going to be one of the most family friendly places that you can reside in the state of Texas. According to niche.com, Frisco, Texas is the eighth best place to raise a family. And quite frankly, I believed it should be ranked much higher. Frisco is hard to beat. They're going to have excellent schools it's low crime i mean literally right in front of me there are kids tossing the football everywhere i look there's dogs families walking so this city is just absolutely great if you have some kids man i, I don't there's not going to be too many other locations throughout the state or the dfw metroplex where i would choose over frisco mainly because it has so much to offer especially if you have a family. Boom, as I come juking the Dallas Cowboys defense. Guys, listen, I know I'm at Frisco, we're in Dallas, Texas, but I am not the biggest Dallas Cowboy fan there is. Hopefully I don't get ran out of town, but let's move on to the second pro in regards to living right here in Frisco, Texas, and staying on the same topic of families, another close tight end pro that goes with families is going to be the second pro, which is the Frisco Independent School District, which is going to be exceptional. There is nothing better than raising your kids in a great school district, and Frisco is definitely going to offer that. As a matter of fact, the Frisco Independent School District is the seventh best public ISD in the state of Texas, according to niche.com, and it also received an A plus rating, which is incredible. So if you're like Richard Soto, who refuses to pay for private school, man, this is going to be the city for you to raise your kids in. What is not to love? It's family friendly. You have some of the best schools in the state of Texas. Man, that's a great combination if you have kids. There are a ton of public schools that make up the Frisco ISD. There are 75 schools to be exact, 12 high schools, 17 middle schools, 42 elementary schools, and three special program schools to accommodate the 67,000 students in Frisco. 
Parents and families flock to the city because of the quality of the public school district. Frisco schools boast high test scores, a 98% graduation rate, and ample opportunities for extracurricular activities. As you can see by the stats, they are absolutely incredible. And that is one of the main reasons Frisco is one of the most popular suburbs in the DFW Metroplex, and that is absolutely going to be the exceptional public school district. I love the sound of hammers and banging and construction when I'm in a fast growing city, which is going to bring us to our third pro, and that is going to be new construction. If you are wanting a new home, you're going to have an endless amount of builders to choose from. Some of the best builders in the country are building and have built homes right here in Frisco. If you want a resale home, there's obviously a ton of resale houses, but what makes Frisco so attractive is all the new home communities. So once again, if you're wanting new construction, whether it's a model home or you want to build your dream mansion, mega home, custom tailored and made for you, we can assist you find that right here in Frisco. And of course, you have a real estate broker by the name of Richard Soto right here in Frisco, Texas, which will assist you with your next home purchase. Now let's cover some additional stats in regards to new construction right here in Frisco. Because of the rapid growth in Frisco, you will find many new construction housing options as well as pre-owned properties. Most new construction communities in Frisco are master plan subdivisions with plenty of amenities like pools, parks, and playgrounds. There has also been a rise in the number of apartments and townhomes being built in the city. So if you're not ready to buy just yet, there are plenty of rental options as well. There is a home for any budget. Homes can range from the high threes to the multi-million dollars. As we just stated, there's definitely a ton of different options. You don't have to purchase a mega mansion. Maybe you're looking for your first home. You can find that in Frisco. Or maybe you don't want to purchase just yet. You can definitely find numerous rentals throughout the city of Frisco. As a matter of fact, we just did a tour on 12 Cowboys Parkway, which is a stunning apartment community. And I highly recommend that the amenities there are awesome. Not to mention you're right here within the star, have access to a ton of restaurants and entertainment, a gym. Pretty much it's going to be very, very walkable if you reside right here in the star. Just something to consider if you're wanting to relocate right here to Frisco. Okay, guys, before we continue with the pros and cons of living in Frisco, it is literally about two o'clock. I haven't ate anything today. It's a typical day. As a real estate broker, I eat when I get a chance, and it's a beautiful day. I'm on the patio. As you already know, I love Mexican food, so I decided to grab a late lunch right here at Miko Cinem. If you're ever at the Star here in Frisco, definitely swing by. I have ordered myself one margarita. That's all we're going to get today, but I'm enjoying the weather. I'm overlooking the kids tossing the football. There is new construction across the street happening. Man, Frisco, Texas, what a great city. Now, let's hope these tacos are just as good as the city of Frisco. Just wrapped up lunch at Mi Cocina right here at the Star. And guys, I decided to go ahead and have a second margarita. I'm not going to lie to you. However, if you want some good Tex-Mex, Mi Cocina always hits the spot. It's not the best Mexican food in the DFW Metroplex or Frisco. However, it's always going to be a good lunch or dinner. The margaritas are always going to be great. Their service is always going to be exceptional the majority of the time. So if you want some good Tex-Mex, definitely swing by Miko Cinem. Now talking about restaurants here in Frisco, there are going to be a ton of different restaurants, which is another pro. If you're a foodie like myself that enjoys going out to eat pretty much twice a day, seven days a week, you'll enjoy living right here in Frisco because there's an endless amount of restaurants and you will never have to eat the same food twice. The only negative, which is a con in regards to the restaurants, there's a lot of chains. And I'm all about more of a mom and pop, independently owned type of restaurants. However, if you do like going out to eat, Frisco is going to offer an endless amount of restaurants. I'm right here at the Star where I just ate 
at Mikosina. And another pro is the star. Right here, as you can see, right behind me, there's, guys, there's probably about 100 kids on that Cowboys football field enjoying the beautiful, glorious day, tossing around the football. Unfortunately, the majority are going to be Cowboy fans, and they're probably going to be disappointed once again this particular season, but that's okay. We love our Cowboys nevertheless. So if you come to the star, there's going to be over 20 restaurants, 10 sports bars, and there's going to be at least eight patios where you can sit out and enjoy this beautiful sunny weather and enjoy one, two, three, four, five, or six margaritas, depending if it's your day off or not. So the Frisco Star is going to offer so much fun for the family and the kids. The Star is going to be a 91 acre campus setting that incorporates the Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters, Tostitos Championship Plaza, which is actually a field, Ford Center, the Star District, and the Omni Frisco Hotel. The Dallas Cowboys World Corporate Headquarters was created to allow fans to connect with the team. There are VIP guided tours that gives Cowboy fans a chance to experience the place where the Dallas Cowboys train and work 355 days of the year. The Star District is the perfect place to shop, dine, and experience the Dallas Cowboys themed campus. These are just a few highlights you can experience during the visit to the Star District. Whether you're making plans for a date night, family excursion, or the Dallas Cowboys watch party, the Dallas Star has something for everyone. So you don't have to be a Cowboys fan or be into the NFL experience to enjoy your time right here at the Star. As I stated earlier, if you just wanna go and hang out, have a couple of drinks and go out on a date night, this is the place to go. Or if you wanna bring the kids and toss the football like they are behind me, this is the place for that too. This is going to be a great environment whether you just wanna hang out with your loved one or with your family. Before we head to historic downtown Frisco, I noticed all these news trucks. And as you can pan, they're right across this whole street. They are here because they know Richard Soto and VIP Realty provide the best news coverage in regards to Frisco, Texas, everything in Collin County, Dallas County, North Texas, and the state of Texas. Just wanted to get that out the way. Now, let's head on down to downtown Frisco. You're going to love it, so I'll see you there. One thing that's a con right here at the Frisco, one, it's extremely crowded, and we're not getting into the cons yet, but I thought I'd go ahead and cover it right now. There's a ton of people everywhere. The lines were long at the restaurants. And another thing, that when you move to Frisco or the state of Texas, if you're relocating from other parts of the country around the world, is going to be the massive SUVs. Yes, I have a large SUV. However, in front of me is a giant Escalade that's extra long. And right behind me, it's another massive Escalade that's extra long on these very, very tight parking spots. So um, hopefully I can get out without an incident. Okay, moving on to the next pro. And if you're a sports fanatic like myself, there is absolutely no need to travel into Dallas to check out the Dallas Mavericks or into Arlington to check out the Dallas Cowboys. Frisco, Texas is going to offer a plethora of different sporting teams. Right here, I'm at the stadium of FC Dallas. Let me be the first one to tell you, I am not a soccer fan, which is very odd, considering I'm Latino. However, I just, man, I'm just not down with soccer. Please forgive me if you're a soccer fan. However, awesome soccer stadium facility. There's numerous beautiful soccer fields behind this particular stadium as well as well as there's the G League here in Frisco. I believe it's the Texas Legends, which I've taken my basketball kids to see numerous games. So if you're into soccer, if you're into basketball, right here you can watch the G League. In addition to that, the Frisco Fieldhouse is about four blocks down the street. And that's where a lot of times during the summer, we'll play our AU basketball tournaments. There's also 
indoor volleyball facility as well, right there within the Frisco Fieldhouse. So a ton of professional and youth sports right here in Frisco. Not to mention, we just left the Frisco Star, which is the Dallas Cowboys train facility. And people from all over the world, not only Texas, come to the Frisco Star because, as we already know, the Dallas Cowboys are America's team, regardless if we're winning or not. The Dallas Cowboys are still probably the most popular professional franchise in the world. How could I forget if you're a baseball fan, the Frisco Rough Riders are right here in Frisco, which we've gone and toured the stadium in previous video. So guys, pretty much any sporting activity or sports team, you can find it right here in Frisco. Guys, this is such a great city. I don't want to belabor the point, but man, it's so great for families. There's so much to do. You have great schools. It's low crime. You have so much sporting activities, so many different restaurants right here within the city. There is so much to love about living right here in Frisco, which is going to lead me to my next pro, and that's going to be low crime. If you reside in the city of Frisco, you're going to feel safe. You're going to feel secure. You're not going to have to have to put those haymakers on anybody and defend yourself because the crime rate right here in Frisco is going to be very low. I travel throughout the city, whether it's in the morning, afternoon, late at night, and guys, I've never had an issue. I have dozens and dozens of friends, clients that have bought homes here. I have dozens of real estate agents that work for VIP Realty that live here in Frisco. Crime isn't going to be an issue. However, as we already know, every city does have crime and so does Frisco. However, it's not going to be as massive as the majority of cities Frisco size. Niche.com rated Frisco a B minus, which is not bad, but I have seen better stats for other cities when it comes to crime rate. Area Vibes rated Frisco an A plus, showing total crimes in Frisco 55% lower than the national average. So depending on which website you go to, you're going to get different statistics. That is why you tune in to VIP Realty and Richard Soto so we can give you the lowdown on what it is actually right here on the ground. I can tell you this, I have a lot of realtors that live here. I have a lot of families that we sold homes to. I have a lot of my basketball players and their families that reside here. And if you live here in Frisco, you honestly shouldn't have any issue. As I stated earlier, yes, there's crime everywhere, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you're going to feel safe, you're going to feel secure and without worries. Okay, moving on to the next pro, and that is going to be shopping. Frisco is going to have numerous outdoor shopping centers like where I'm at right now, right off of Main Street. There's going to be numerous different stores and boutiques that you have access to. However, Frisco is mainly known for the Stonebriar Mall, one of my favorite malls in North Texas. Quite frankly, let me just keep it 100. It's the second best mall in my opinion. Obviously, North Park in Dallas is absolutely the best. However, Stonebriar is a close second, and when I can't make it into Dallas, I definitely head to Stonebriar. There's numerous different stores. One of my favorite shoe stores, I believe it's the Foot Locker store on the first floor, has the latest and greatest different Nike shoes. So if you're in the shoes, or maybe you just want to go to Macy's, there's also Nordstrom's and Dillard's. So if you're looking for casual wear, maybe a white tee, which I am the most comfortable in. Guys, let me tell you this. When I'm out and about, there is nothing better and more comfortable than wearing a $3 Hanes t-shirt and some Nike shorts. However, you can find that or you can find some custom made suits at the Stonebriar Mall. So if you're in the shopping, no need to head all the way into Dallas. You can address all your shopping needs right here in Frisco. Stonebriar Center Mall is one of the premier shopping malls in DFW. Featuring major stores such as Nordstrom, Macy's, and Dillard's, the 1.6 million square foot mall 
also offers a family-friendly setting with activities such as lively carousel, Kinzania, attached Hyatt Regency Frisco Hotel. And one of my favorite things to do is visit the movie theater. The mall has a 24-screen AMC theater movie complex complete with an IMAX theater experience as well. There's also a Dave & Buster's inside the mall if you like arcade games and laser tag. So if you ever see me in Stonebriar, I'm only there for a couple of reasons. One, I want to buy some Nike shoes. Obviously, as you already know, I'm a basketball coach, so I have to have the latest and greatest Nike shoes available because I can't let the kids show me up. Two, I need to get some Hanes t-shirts because the old ones I have are worn out. Three, and my main reason that I like to go is I love watching movies and I'm a big movie buff. I actually took my son to the Stonebriar Mall last night and we watched Plane, I believe was the name, which is a pretty good movie. We love going to the theater. And so whenever me and my little one go, we go to the movies and you already know, we have to go to Dave and Buster's and enjoy some video games while we're there and we also hit the food court grab ourselves some food so guys it's not all about shopping there's definitely some entertainment at the stonebriar mall as well okay moving on to the next pro of living right here in frisco texas and that is going to be diversity i love the fact that people from around the world reside right here in Frisco. The only thing I don't like about diversity is if I had my choice. It'd be nothing but Tex-Mex restaurants around Frisco because you already know I love Mexican food, but never mind that. Guys, I literally have kids that play for me right here in Frisco that are from around the world. They speak different languages and everyone brings something different to our team that's special and unique and I absolutely love it. Frisco has a foreign-born population of 19.8%. Unlike many cities in Texas with a large Hispanic or Latino minority, Asians make up the largest minority in Frisco, which is one of the Texas' highest Asian populations. The city has a large community of people from India, South Korea, Japan, and China. Indians account for the largest share of Asians in Frisco and other cities in DFW. And the Indian community now makes up 14% of the population of Collin County. So as you can see, we're pretty much going to cover the globe right here in Frisco. And in my opinion, that's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's move on to our next pro, and that is going to be outdoor activities. If you're an outdoor enthusiast like myself and my boys, you'll love living in Frisco. There are going to be over 50 different parks right here in the city of Frisco. I'm here. <laughs> at the town square and there's some kids right behind me enjoying the beautiful day uh i don't know what we're doing maybe jumping in the water fountain right beside us however numerous parks throughout the city of frisco which you're absolutely going to love these 50 parks are going to range from small neighborhood parks to large community parks along with a system of trails and natural areas to cater to your outdoor needs Frisco's community parks accommodate organized team play for softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, cricket, football, and more. Community parks also provide a variety of other amenities depending on your location, including playgrounds, spray parks, concessions, ponds for fishing, basketball, tennis courts, sand volleyball, disc golf, batting cages, and skate parks. Frisco has green spaces across the city where you can get away from the hustle and bustle and spend time in nature. Enjoy a hike, discover native plants and animals, or pause for a quiet time by a stream or pond. Guys, so if you want some quiet time, you can definitely find it in one of these parks. Or if you want to be loud and rambunctious like my two boys want to be, you can definitely find that here. You can do some fishing, play some hoops, hit the baseball, kick the soccer ball, throw the disc around, maybe play some volleyball, whatever the case is. Once again, Frisco, Texas is very family friendly. They cater to the family and especially to the kids. That's why there's so many parks right here in the city of Frisco. Okay, moving on to amenities right here in Frisco. Whether you're wanting to do some grocery shopping at the local Kroger, Tom Thumb, Sprouts, Main Street, whatever the case is, or the latest and greatest most popular store in Frisco, which is HEB. By the way, if you decide to go to HEB, it's going to be a long line. The parking lot is absolutely full. 
I don't understand that because I don't cook. So if I'm going to a grocery store, any store with some waters, some Gatorades, and a couple of Red Bulls are going to suffice. However, from all the residents here in Frisco, H-E-B is the biggest thing to hit Frisco. I, listen, I just don't get it. It is what it is. Not only that, if you're looking for a Costco, Sam's Club, anything under the sun in regards to shopping, whether it's for your personal self and clothing at the Stonebriar Mall, or if you need to get 50,000 steaks for your freezer in your garage, you can go to Costco and find just that. So amenities, grocery stores, shopping, plenty of that right here in Frisco. Okay, moving on to the next pro, and that is going to be the latest breaking news, and that is Frisco is going to be getting a Universal Studios. I don't know if that's good or bad, depending on who you ask. However, according to my youngest son, Nathan, it is absolutely a pro. I was talking to a client. We just sold him a home here in Frisco, which is going to be about 10 minutes away from the Universal Studios. We're already game planning how he's going to Airbnb his home out, and we're going to help him acquire a different home on the other side of town. He sees a big opportunity with all the people that are going to be flying in to Dallas and visiting Frisco at the Universal Studios. Not only that, it's going to bring a ton of employment to the city as well, but I can see a con in the future. It's going to be a heck of a lot more traffic than there already is. However, we're not at the cons yet. We're still at the pros. The Universal Studios theme park has brought a lot of excitement to the city of Frisco, so it's definitely going to be a pro. The Universal Park is intended to have a completely different look, feel, and scale than Universal's existing parks and will appeal to new audiences for the brand. This theme park will be much smaller in size than Orlando and geared toward younger kids. It will be exciting to watch the development of this section of Frisco, and although it will be complete in 2025 and my son will probably be too old to visit, I will probably have to drag him there to check it out. As you can see, the entertainment options in Frisco is and will be even more plentiful with an addition of this new park. Frisco already has a ton of attractions, whether it's watching a professional league game or just playing youth sports. This theme park is going to bring a lot more excitement to the city of Frisco. I am so excited. I know the residents, the majority of them, are excited as well. Hopefully, property values will rise again due to this new theme park. Listen, if you've bought in the past, we want homes to increase in price, so don't be late to the party. If you're wanting to purchase a home, it's always best, in my opinion, to do it sooner than later. Okay, moving on to the next pro right here in Frisco, and that is going to be employment, which is extremely important. You can enjoy all the city's amenities and real estate options if you don't have a significant income coming in, which we will cover later in the cons. However, there's going to be numerous large corporations that reside right here in Frisco, Texas. So if you're looking for employment, or if you wanna climb that corporate ladder, or maybe you wanna start a business and scale that business, Frisco is going to offer great opportunities to do that, especially if you're servicing different families right here in the city of Frisco. Frisco's unemployment rate is 4.9, which is below the U.S. average of 6%. The job growth rate seems to be growing well. It increased by 3.3% last year. Experts expect that it will grow to almost 56% in the next 10 years. Wallet Hub ranked Frisco number one in job growth among U.S. mid-sized cities in October 2019. The key factors included the increase in number of businesses and startups and growth in numbers of technology companies. It's understandable why Frisco has such a healthy job market. The headquarters of several large companies are in the city. These companies include T-Mobile, Ikea, Jamba Juice, NBC, Telemundo 29. Frisco also sits close to Plano. This city is also home to many large corporations such as Pepsi, Toyota, Frito-Lay, Bank of America, and others. Okay, let's move on to the last pro, which is going to be a staple in Frisco, Texas, and that's the Frisco Athletic Center, which is an award-winning fitness center that's focused on the family, which I absolutely love. One thing that I've never liked, I'm a member of LA Fitness, 
And when my boys were younger, especially my old one, he was eight, nine, 10, 11, he was not able to get into the gym and work out with me. My youngest, Nathan, who's 10, isn't able to get into the gym either because it's mainly for adults. And this particular gym is catered to families that has basketball courts, racquetball courts, everything you could ever want. 350,000 gallons of water where you can swim the days on end. It is a family friendly gym and I love it. Once again, we're seeing a theme right here in Frisco and it's all about the family. So when you're an adult and you need to go get your sweat on, get a workout in, don't worry. You can take the little ones with you and that's absolutely great. Look behind me guys, I love these quiet streets. And this is going to bring me to my next topic, which we're about to cover the cons of living in Frisco. I personally love the fact that it's quiet. Let me get out of this street before we get ran over. Number one, don't take chances, guys, while you're filming video. However, all these restaurants, bars, most of everything here in Frisco is catered to families, which I absolutely love. However, if you're single, you want to pop bottles, make it rain, stay up to three, four in the morning, Frisco's probably not going to be the city for you. It's just not. It doesn't cater to that lifestyle. So just depending on where you're at in life, eh, maybe you won't enjoy living in Frisco. Maybe uptown Dallas, more your cup of tea. However, if you want to live in Frisco, it's going to be early nights. It's going to be quiet for the most part, because there's going to be a lot of kids screaming and yelling and throwing water and bottles all over the place. So total different situation right here in Frisco. And that is going to be that the nightlife activities are pretty much going to be non-existent. The majority of residents in Frisco are families with children. So most of the restaurants and recreational options are family friendly. This often doesn't appeal to younger single people who tend to reside closer to the city somewhere in the Metroplex. Almost any restaurant you eat in is sure to have young kids running around. You won't have a hard time finding a nice bar to have a drink, but you won't find many clubs or places to mingle with single adults. So if you're single and ready to mingle, you want to find a date or maybe you want to find a mate. Maybe you want to get married. Whatever the case is, most of the people here in Frisco are going to be married with families. I don't know the exact statistics. However, it's just reality. And there's nothing wrong with that. I actually prefer that because I like the slower pace, not crazy madness of the city of living downtown Dallas, uptown Dallas, maybe Las Colinas. So if you have a family, you'll enjoy it here. However, if you're single, eh, you might want to head down the tollway south. Okay, moving on to the second con. First is there's no nightlife, but probably even worse is going to be the cost of living. I've lived in Dallas-Fort Worth my entire life, and I recall a time many years back where if you moved to Frisco, you could get a brand new construction, beautiful home with plenty of land for under or around $300,000. That time has long, long passed. And if you're trying to be frugal, if you want to save some money, it's just not going to happen here in Frisco because the prices in Frisco, not only with the real estate, but day-to-day -day expenses have been going up dramatically every year. However, I don't believe that that's a Frisco, Texas problem. I think that's a global problem, but particularly here in Frisco, it's escalating a little bit quicker than the majority of the cities throughout North Texas. In December 2022, Frisco home prices were up 11.7% compared to last year, selling for a median price of $721,000. Brand new construction homes for sale in Frisco, Texas have a median list home price of $700,000. Older construction might be around $300,000 plus, but even this is rare. So yes, kind of, sort of, you can purchase an older home around the higher threes, but ah, that's going to be extremely hard to find if you find it. And if you do find it, I assure you, there's gonna be 60 other people bidding on that same property that's absolutely going to take 
that $350,000 property well into the force. So just something to consider if you're relocating to Frisco. Okay, let's move on to our next con, which is going to be property taxes and they're going to be high. In North Texas, the typical property tax rate is going to be anywhere between two to 3%. And here in Frisco, it's going to be a little bit over 2%, which is definitely higher than the national average. This means that on a $500,000 home, you would be paying at least $10,000 in property tax alone. Some reasons for high property taxes are no personal income tax in Texas, local authorities establish property tax rate for each county, appraising values increase, counties rely heavily on property tax to fund the growing infrastructure. This is crucial to keep in mind when looking for homes in the area. Many homeowners are shocked to receive their tax bills if they aren't prepared. So guys, don't just look at the mortgage payment, okay? Because your property tax bill is going to be significant if you reside right here in Frisco. However, if you want access to exceptional schools, a low crime city with a lot of things to do, you're definitely going to have to pay for it and Frisco is no exception. So just prepare yourself, it's a big con. Taxes are no joke right here in Frisco. Okay, we've already stated that Frisco is great. However, it's not perfect. So let's keep the cons going, which we're going to move on to the next con, and that is going to be traffic. Whether you're going north or south on the tollway, whether you're going east or west on 121, if you're going down Preston specifically, there is going to be a ton of traffic in every direction. So if you're in a hurry, you've got places to be and you've got to get there quickly. Ah, it's going to be a problem, especially depending on the time of the day. I can assure you there is a ton of traffic in Frisco pretty much day and night. In addition to that, whenever we go to the Stonebriar Mall or to the Star or wait, even if we go to the grocery store in Frisco, there is going to be limited space in regards to parking, which is extremely frustrating. When I was at the start earlier, I literally had to drive around for about 10 minutes, which was ridiculous, ridiculous. But that's just the way it is when you live in a city, one, that's extremely popular, two, that is growing rapidly, and three, that people love to come and visit because of the amenities and the things that there are to do right here in Frisco. So traffic, parking spots, definitely an issue right here in Frisco. Okay, let's move on to our last con, and that is going to be location. At least according to Richard Soto, the location in Frisco is not ideal, not only in Frisco, but Collin County as a whole, whether it's McKinney, Plano, Allen, in my opinion, it's just too far out in the suburbs, mainly because as a real estate broker, I have to be in downtown Dallas, I have to be in South Lake, Tarrant County, Fort Worth, all over the Metroplex. And in addition to that, I fly a lot, one, to go to California, to our VIP Realty California offices, and two, I love to travel. I enjoy going on vacation with my boys. So the airport is not very convenient either. So if you're having to travel for work locally around the DFW Metroplex, or if you have to catch flights frequently for business, my personal opinion, Frisco is just a little bit too far north. I would prefer if I could pick up the city and move it in towards the loop of 635, but obviously that's not possible. So the location in my opinion, is definitely a con, guys. So there's really not too many other cons that I can think of. The biggest cons to me in Frisco are obviously the cost of living. The housing has gone up tremendously. Taxes are obviously an issue <laughs> that we can't get rid of. Other than that, there's just not a lot of cons that I can think of, you know, the traffic is an issue but honestly the traffic throughout dfw metroplex is an issue so as we discussed in a previous video even capel even though it's a small city the traffic is horrendous so traffic is going to be an issue throughout the dfw metroplex and throughout the state of texas mainly because 
a lot of people around the country are realizing the value the cost of living the housing options the school system here in the state of texas and numerous areas are going to be exceptional and there's just dang good old folks good people right here in the lone star state so that's just part of growing pains it's going to be traffic there's going to be a lot of people there's going to be a lot of construction as well so guys those are just the only cons that i can think of if you're considering moving to frisco dallas fort worth houston austin san antonio milling throughout the state of texas my team and i would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction whether you're looking to purchase or lease whether it's new construction or a lease if you're a first time home buyer or if you're ready to build your mega mansion we can help you and we look forward to doing that for now guys it's time to head back to north dallas i gotta get back to the office and get to work so i will see you on the next video